Road to the Open starts next week. So this is the last full week of training before we start like hamping things up and like ramping things up. If those two words are the right words, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I think it's ramping, ramping things up. Like, a, like the ramp, yeah. Before we start ramping things up <laughs> for the actual Open prep. Now, for those of you who don't know, the CrossFit Open is basically an online competition wherein they give you the opportunity to rank yourselves against other CrossFitters all around the globe, all around the world. It's like a worldwide competition. There are three events that take place over three weeks and then after that you get your result as to where you place worldwide. And this year it starts on February 29th and runs all the way through to March 18th. So I will be making a video every single week that follows my training all the way through to the open as like a kind of like open prep series so that you guys know exactly what I'm doing and can follow on and hopefully there are some tips and tricks as well as some do's and don'ts <laughs> that you'll find useful along the way. So let's get into the week one, which is the week before the open prep, kind of just like rounding off everything in my program before we start the full prep prep work next week. So first and foremost, I think one of the most important things personally for me is that I am looking to go into this open prep with the most amount of skills possible, like with the most well-rounded amount of skills that I possibly can have. Obviously, I've only started CrossFit about eight months ago, so I'm not like a professional <laughs> at any of the skills and I haven't got like, I'm not 100% certain on a lot of the skills, but as long as I can do all of them at least a little bit, it kind of gives me the confidence that I need to go into this open prep and make sure that I am happy to kind of take every single workout as it comes and just give it my best. So one of the skills that I am really not very good at is double unders. So this week, I kind of wanted to test where I am with double unders and see how my progress has come along since the beginning of my CrossFit journey. To be honest, I have had like a few spikes of where my double unders were really good. I will put a link up here to the first CrossFit competition that we did, which is where I did my first ever set of 50 unbroken double unders, followed by a set of like 40 unbroken double unders. Before that, I think the most I've ever done was like 25, maybe. And this week, I kind of have been like, for me, all the cues and everything that everybody was giving me just didn't make any sense. I found that like my wrists and my jumping were just like really like stiff and I couldn't understand how the speed of my wrist would impact my jumping. So the only way that I have been able to improve my double unders is simply just like keep chipping away at them every single week until I kind of like have this understanding of what the hell is going on with my body. So this week I just did like three sessions where I just did um, five sets of maximum amount of double unders and I was really happy I managed to hit pretty much over 20 reps every single time which is really consistent for me. I also found that my shoulders weren't as tired as they have been and the one cue that I was kind of giving myself to try and help myself get through that was to jump really tall and just like every time my feet come off the floor just to twist my wrists and that kind of like helped me get to that like over 30 double unders in one set, which obviously isn't amazing, but <laughs> it's a stepping stone. I'm happy with it. Now, the most important thing that happened this week, or the best thing that happened to me this week, is that I got my first ever ring muscle up. Whee! I'm gonna have to do like a little humble flex here. I haven't been practicing muscle ups, like ring muscle ups. I've been doing a lot of regular muscle ups, a lot of like regular gymnastics works, like pull ups, chest bars, and stuff like that. But I haven't prioritized my ring muscle ups, mainly because I'm not very good at them. Like obviously I couldn't do them before and I didn't understand how to do them. Um, and then we went into the gym the other day and I think I'd just done like a wad and Ross was like, oh, do you wanna just like practice your ring muscle ups? I was like, sure why not and one of the coaches that coaches at our gym was there and he was like oh i'll help you so <laughs> just i don't know it, it was just like one cue that he said to me was just like when you get horizontal when you push your hips through just like slam your head forward and you'll be strong enough to hold the rings in place so i did my first ring muscle up i was so excited because one of the workouts from last year's open like one of the um, things that divided people was the ring muscle ups at the end of a workout and it would be amazing if by the time it came around to doing the open that I had at least like two or three ring muscle ups in the bag to make sure that I'm ahead of people who don't have that skill down. So fingers crossed but I'm super super happy with my first ever ring muscle up. So this week's training was hard in a sense that um, I was ill at the beginning of this week at the end of last week and, and which meant that I haven't been able to like squat as heavy. So squats this week were particularly difficult. I found them like quite heavy and difficult to push through. Um, I did just do like a few sets of two at about 80% just to kind of like make sure that I'm still pushing but just ticking over whilst I can't push anymore. And then what we have been trying to include 
over the past few weeks leading into this open prep is to do some heavy barbell cycling. Uh, mainly because obviously we know that I have a strength when it comes to heavy barbells. I like barbells, I used to do weightlifting. So this week we were kind of practicing heavy barbell cycling and I did like some heavy snatches in the workout and some heavy overhead squats as well as some heavy, not heavy deadlifts but unbroken deadlifts and unbroken hang power cleans which was tough. Like, it's really hard like when you put it into perspective. So one of the workouts was nine burpees over bar, seven deadlifts, five power cleans. And you had to do the deadlifts and you had to do the power cleans unbroken. Now, the weight was 65 kilos for women. So when you put that into like perspective, that's only 60% of my best power clean. When you have to do the seven deadlifts unbroken and then the five hang power, the five power cleans unbroken, it became really, really tough. But it was a great mental kind of like push for me to reaffirm that I can move that weight really easily and I don't have to, I don't always have to okay. think that I'm gonna struggle. Like I think one of the things that I have to sort of like drill in is that it's not gonna be as hard as I think it's gonna be. I just have to be consistent and be confident in my positions basically. This week was actually great for gymnastics because one of the things that I did do was some of the best sets of pull-ups that I've ever done. I don't practice them as much because I kind of got very obsessed with bar muscle ups because I absolutely love bar muscle ups right now but I've just been like practicing the tipping pull up and it's been going really really well I think one of the main cues that I tried to give myself is to keep my legs straight as much as possible like kick my toes up bring my hips in and then pull myself up so it's like a kick hips pull and then relax and that really helped me kind of like drill and cue how to do it it was super confusing for me but I finally feel like I'm getting my rhythm a little bit more and starting to really understand how on earth to do kipping pull-ups. Last but not least, the last skill that we practiced this week was handstand walk. I don't mind handstand walks. I think they're fine. I could kind of like get through it. They're not my strongest suit, so if it did come up, I wouldn't be ecstatic about it. <laughs> but it is something that I have now been able to do like five meters unbroken pretty much every time. So that's really good. The only way that I've managed to build that up it's actually by every time before I do any kind of handstand workout, I'll do a handstand against the wall, like handstand, like yeah. facing the wall, face, wall facing handstand hold. And then I use my fingers and my palms to kind of like move and see where my legs go. And if you try and find that when you're doing a handstand hold or anything, that your weight is in the like in the middle of your hand as opposed to in your fingers or your like the base of your palm, you'll find that you'll be able to like stay straight and actually stay up a lot more consistently. I think one of the things that I also have to try really hard is to like point my toes and keep my whole body kind of like rigid because that's the only way that I find that I'm stable enough to keep going and keep handstand walking. Now there was a bit of a blessing in disguise in that there's been quite a few bank holidays like over the past two weeks so I've had like a lot of additional rest which I'm super happy about and like kind of makes me feel a little bit more prepared, a little bit more ready for the open prep. I am super nervous but super excited to share it with you guys. So if you guys are excited about the open prep and if you guys are also doing the open prep, please do put a comment in the comments below as I'd be so excited to, to like just see how many of us are doing it and see what we can do this year. It's gonna be a good one, I can feel it. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe as well as give this video a big thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next video.